you're a complete loser with no friends, don't worry. All you have to do is stop wearing your glasses and sweep your hair back. Then within weeks, you'll be an international supermodel. Really? Obviously not, but that's what happens in this film, also known as Deadly Runway. This is 2018's Fatal Fashion. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. Meet Jennifer Higgins. She's a fashion photographer in New York. She's obsessed with this model to the point that when he dares speak to another woman, she threatens him with a knife. R relationships are a lot of work. A year later in LA, we meet David Doolittle. He's an absolute loser. And as soon as he arrives at school, there's a group of kids waiting to bully him. <laughs> In assembly, the kids are told that there's a new class they can take this year called Fashion and Photography. The teacher for that class, Miss Higgins. Uh-oh. While she's talking about the class... He is helpful. That was David's nemesis, Trey, and apparently that was hilarious. Let's see if Jennifer has a comeback. There are those who have no interest in anything other than being jerks. Have some of that, Trey. Yeah. Cut to fashion and photography class, where the kids seem to just sift through old clothes, then model them. While this girl, Caitlin, is the best at sifting through the clothes, the best at modeling is Trey's girlfriend, Brittany. But she's not happy with her outfit. Fix it, dork. <laughs> so Brittany seems nice. Let's try some photography instead. Oh, hello, David. Hi. Is there any chance I can join your class? I, I really want to learn about cameras. Go join that team. At lunch, David asks Caitlin on a date because he thinks she's the only person desperate enough to say yes. I have a French quiz that I've got to study for. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it looks like someone else might be interested, though. Miss Higgins. I'm sorry. It's totally inappropriate. She's like, David, I have a client who needs a young guy to model clothes for a new line. Are you up for it? And he's like, what, me? But I've got glasses and greasy hair. She's like, yeah, give me 10 minutes and I'll make you really good looking. I just, I just can't see it. I can't. Oh, dear. Ah! So that's happening. After five minutes at the mall, David is hot. So it's time for the photo shoot. You go get changed and I'll set up the lights. Okay. David looks so good in the clothes, Miss Higgins wants to take some of him without a shirt on. When David gets home, his mum's like, what happened to you, David? And he's like, don't worry, mum, it's just for my fashion and photography class. Meanwhile, Miss Higgins is at home looking at the photo she took earlier. Although we don't see her rubbing one out over half-naked photos of a student, it's certainly implied. Oh, right, sorry, we do actually see that happening. Wow. The next day at school, everyone's staring at David. Why? Because somehow, overnight, he's made the cover of Metropolitan Fashion Magazine. Brittany sees this and immediately approaches David. She's like, oh, hi, David. I know I've relentlessly bullied you for years, but do you want to come with me to a party this weekend and then have sex? Okay. Then David goes to see Miss Higgins and thanks her for the makeover because it's landed him a date with Brittany. She's like, that sounds nice, David. But secretly, she's livid. The next day, she tells Brittany that she needs her for a photo shoot. Your top model material, isn't it obvious? <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. This is for Elle magazine. Elle magazine? I have to do it tonight. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the shoot involves Brittany on a stepladder next to a balcony. She's like, so Brittany, I hear you're seeing David. I'm just hooking up with David to make Trey jealous. Can you take a step up for me? Oh, dear. <laughs> Miss Higgins makes it look like Britney has jumped by leaving this note saying, everyone wants to be my friend because I'm pretty, but no one likes me for who I really am. Sorry, mum and dad. I can't keep living this fake life. <laughs>
<laughs> and that's worked. Really? A few days later, and David's mum finds a letter in the mail from Metropolitan Fashion Magazine and opens it, even though it's addressed to David. It's a cheque for two and a half thousand dollars, and David wants to give it to her to help with the bills, but his mum won't take it. She is, however, a bit concerned that Miss Higgins is taking half-naked photos of her teenage son. But David's like, Mum, it's fine, and she's like, Oh, okay then. At David's next photo shoot, this woman Andrea turns up. What are you doing in LA? I thought you were in New York. Moved out here about a month ago. Andrea's like, ooh, this guy looks like a good model. So she asks him if he'd like her to be his manager and tells him she can get him some big money jobs. But Miss Higgins is like, we don't need her, David. I'll get you loads of jobs. Just sign this contract. He's like, okay, I'll show it to my mum first. And she's like, no, David, sign it now. So he does. The next day after school, David comes home to find Andrea in his house speaking to his mum. His mum's like, Andrea's amazing. I'm going to sign the contract. But he's like, no, sorry, I already signed one with Miss Higgins. But that contract... Contract is null and void because David's under 18. When David gets to school the next day, he tells Miss Higgins that he signed with Andrea and she's not happy at all. So that night, she goes round to Andrea's house. You can't take David away from me. You're a photographer. But I discovered him. Right? He's all I got. You're sleeping with him, aren't you? No. This is just like New York. New York? Andrea's like, yeah, the time when you were obsessed with that model and went mental. Miss Higgins doesn't like being reminded of all that business, so she strangles Andrea to death. To make it look like a gang-related robbery, she steals all of Andrea's jewellery and sprays 54th Street posse on the mirror. It's been a few days since that happened and David's worried that he's not heard from Andrea. He tells Miss Higgins and she's like, yeah, well, I told you you'd have been better off with me. I've got a small modelling job for you if you want it. And he's like, yeah, I'll do it. The job is some fashion show and David's mum and Caitlin are watching. After the show, David's mum wants a word with Miss Higgins. If you ever take half-naked photos of him again alone, I will not only get you fired, but I will call the cops and have you arrested. So that's not gone well. On his way home, Trey and his friends bully David again, right in front of his mum. <laughs> And this hasn't gone unnoticed by Miss Higgins. The next day, David and his mum see a news report about Andrea being killed by a street gang. At school, Trey has some questions for David. He's like, first Britney dies, then your agent. What's going on? You think I killed them? Really? You're too much of a pussy for something like that. Hey, I'm talking to you, dumbass. Get your hands off me. Show some respect, bitch. David finally snaps and decides to fight back. And now everyone thinks he's a hero. Miss Higgins takes him to her classroom to tend to his injuries. But then Caitlin walks in and she's like, wow, David, that was amazing. Let's go for coffee after school. And David's like, okay. Miss Higgins can't have that. So when David's taken to the principal's office, she tells Caitlin she could be a model and offers to take her to the mall for a makeover. So that's happening. And with a bit of makeup and some contact lenses, Caitlin is totally transformed. So let's take some photos. Miss Higgins gets Caitlin to drink and pose in a towel holding a baseball bat. And Caitlin seems pretty pleased with the results. I'm the hottest girl in school and, and everybody wants me. <laughs> so now, while David's on the cover of magazines such as Gentleman's Fashion and Hunter's Court, Caitlin's made the covers... <laughs> Caitlin's made the covers of Health and Love, Ladies Daily, Los Angeles Skyline, Swimsuit Weekend, and Nightclub Central. This is shit. After a joint photo shoot for Bridal Joy magazine, <laughs> David has something to tell Miss Higgins. I'm in love. With Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Caitlin gets a text saying, seen your photos, want to do porn? And she's like, uh, no thanks. But that message came from Miss Higgins' burner phone. Later, Miss Higgins takes photos of a porn star and uses advanced photo editing techniques to make it look like he was posing with Caitlin. Somehow at school, everyone's... <laughs> Somehow at school, everyone's seen these photos and Trey shows David. Even though she's fully covered and the porn star's wearing pants, people are acting like these photos are scandalous. <laughs> It's not as if he's shoving that bat up her ass, is it? No. But Caitlin's angry and goes to speak to Miss Higgins. You made it look like, like I was with that guy. Oh, oh my God. No, she didn't. She made it look like you were wearing a towel next to him in pants. It could have been so much worse. True. Anyway, Miss Higgins pretends she knows nothing about the photos and denies even taking any of Caitlin. David believes Miss Higgins. He's devastated that his new girlfriend could do something like this, but he still loves her. <laughs> Miss Higgins is like, that's nice, David, but no one's going to hire you for jobs when they find out you're dating someone like that. I hadn't really thought of it like that. That's because it's absolute bollocks. Oh, oh my God. 
Anyway, later Caitlin tells David that her manager's dropped her, her parents are angry, and none of her friends will speak to her. Did you actually do the porn shoot? How is that a porn shoot? This is shit. She's like, no, you're just as bad as everyone else, David. Piss off. So he leaves and she cries. Caitlin goes to see the principal and tells him her side of the story, and he believes her. I think Caitlin's telling the truth. What? You're fired. David's decided he still wants to be with Caitlyn and tries to apologize, but she's already got a new boyfriend, Greg. Wow, that was fast. So David goes for coffee with Miss Higgins instead. She tells him she's probably going to have to leave town. He's like, no, don't leave. I need a manager. Then he offers to help her take her stuff to her apartment where she gets him drunk and then they bang. The next morning, Miss Higgins tells David that she's had a job offer to fly around the world for a year taking photos of models. But she doesn't want to go without David. David's keen to go with her. So they go and ask his mum if it's all right. Absolutely not. This is a chance of a lifetime for David. But David turned 18 at some point over the last 10 minutes of the film, so he's old enough to make his own decision. And he's going with Miss Higgins. Oh, oh my God. Since making that decision, David's moved into Miss Higgins' apartment and his mum hasn't been able to get hold of him for days. She calls Caitlin and asks if she knows where he is, but Caitlin has no idea. And as soon as Caitlin puts the phone down, she gets dumped by Greg. <laughs> So she calls David and tells him she misses him. He's like, what about Greg? He dumped me like a wad of gum. Like a what? Like a wad of gum. All right. Don't ever call him again. Do you understand me? Oh, oh my God. Oh, dear. David's like, what are you doing? And she's like, look, David, we don't want to be associated with her sort. And then they bang. When David goes for a walk, he sees his mum waiting outside for him. She's like, listen, David, I googled Miss Higgins and she's got a history of mental illness and violence. But he's like, whatever, mum, I don't care. Go home. At the next photo shoot, Miss Higgins is acting weird and David starts to suspect that this job she said she's been offered is bollocks. So he goes to the bathroom and messages Caitlin asking her to meet him today. She's like, yes, and he's like, okay, good, I'm on my way. But oh no. What were you doing in the bathroom? I was texting Caitlin. I'm gonna go see her. Are you leaving me? Yeah. As he packs up his stuff, he finds a baseball bat, which is somehow evidence that Miss Higgins doctored the photos of Caitlyn with the porn star. I was wondering why she asked both of them to pose with baseball bats. I'm guessing it's so this scene would work. Anyway. You've been lying to me this whole time? Correcto mundo. She's like, I did it so we could be together. And he's like, fuck this. I can't <laughs> Miss Higgins then sends Caitlin a message from David's phone telling her to come to her apartment. David's mum thinks it might be risky to go alone. She's not there. I'll be fine. Will you, though? I don't think so. When she arrives... <gasps> and oh no, David's tied up. Oh no! Miss Higgins tells Caitlin to start whipping David to punish him for trying to leave her. So that's happening. But then she takes it to the next level. Here. Cut his face. What? From his forehead down to the base of his neck. But Caitlin's like, no, sorry, I'm not doing that. Fine. Luckily for everyone involved, Miss Higgins wants to make a speech before shooting David, and this gives Caitlin enough time to cut him loose. But David is absolutely useless, so Miss Higgins grabs the gun and shoots him. I really did love you. Good job, Mum. Thanks. So she's dead. Six months later, we see David and Caitlin fully recovered and together at school. The principal appears to try to convince David to take a modelling job in Beverly Hills. Why is he getting involved in this? No idea, but he is. And David says no, because he's left that life behind. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And please consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thank you.